What's going on, y'all? This your man Teak, aka Blinded by the Jump Man. Sorry, I've been away for a minute, but uh, coming back to y'all live and direct from location uh, two of three, actually this time, and wanted to do a quick video blog on the uh, Jordans that should be out roughly in the next uh, just under two week period here. I uh, wanted to premiere the Jordan 1 Low Velcro, uh, Premier Low, and I wanted to also uh, preview the Jordan Retro 1 High Blue Sapphire joint. So as we pop off and get right into that, we'll go ahead first and uh, get off to showing you the unboxing of the Velcro 1 Low Premier. So for y'all that have been following the blog, know that I actually uh, went on ahead and posted this up a couple weeks back uh, when pictures first released of the shoe and uh, again not anything that I would rock personally I uh, just ended up getting a pair just to add to the collection uh, so for those hipsters or those cats that are out there that actually are digging the uh, the whole velcro theme-esque look uh, you can get your velcro on right now um, they almost remind me of like kindergarten shoes man um, again, I remember cats taking the Velcro, and uh, I know I'm sure I'm going to see some people try to flip it out and freak it out and actually crisscross the Velcro, which is uh, pure wackiness. But um, the shoe itself isn't constructed bad if the Velcro is your thing. Um, again, low top, premium. It's almost like an off eggshell white color, so the leather on it is actually really good. Uh, the Jordan, with, as far as the blue sapphire being the Jordan Wings logo on the back. Um, inside here on the tongue area you got the Jordan stitched jump man as well as on the front you have the air stitched in sapphire blue uh, and the jet stream is what they're calling this for the rest of the jump man and also the sapphire blue on the front of the toe box area there as well so um, again overall if the velcro is your thing not a bad sneaker at all um, again, nothing that I can personally get down with, but I always preview my sneaks because I know a lot of y'all out there do rock various stuff. So it's different strokes for different folks. And just to show y'all, there's no games here. Again, I see too many of these video uh, blogs done up and everybody's rocking sample size stuff. And this is actually a size 11. If y'all can go ahead and see that. And the date on it, production date on it is uh, 9-10-08. So, yeah, it's official. So that one is the low top. Pop that guy back in his box. And we'll go ahead. Really the one that everybody's waiting for. And this is kind of one of my personal favorites. So for those of you guys that picked up the um, black infrared orange or max orange uh, colorway that actually dropped two weeks ago. I think that's a pretty fly shoe with the whole nylon. So the Jordan brand kept the same thing rolling when they went to the blue sapphire so this is kinda slick and I hope everybody can see this um, they kept the same type of nylon uh, material as far as the fabric on the front so again if you've seen or have a pair of the max orange uh, still that same type of nylon but now in the all blue sapphire um, as you can kinda see as I get closer it almost looks like the design pattern is kinda like context paper or even uh, like the old school graphing paper if y'all ever had to do uh, anything in back in school like that around the whole shoe itself. Uh, Jordan Brent actually did a pretty good job on this one, y'all, man. The uh, As far as the whole color mock-up, the laces are almost identical uh, to the actual blue sapphire on the shoe. Uh, the Jumpman Wings logo, no, there's nothing wrong with this pair. Actually, all pairs are going to be like this tinted out, like a smoked out blue. So you can kind of just see the reflective... Um, wings logo there got the jump man embroidered real nice in the back pretty dope part about these two and again no whammies no sample sizes here this is an actual size 11 but uh, the dope part is the top as you can see up in the uh, ankle area here um, kinda like with the the Gucci inspired ones how they kinda had that felt or velvet material Jordan brand decided to flip it out and this is almost like a uh, like a terry cloth uh, robe type of material so it's actually real soft sapphire blue up front um, again, just to again show those cats, those non-believers out there, we don't mess with any whammies here. So, it is an actual size 11 going on and getting popping. 
Hope y'all can see that there. Get a little bit of focus action going on. Bang. US 11. So, again, both shoes, both kicks are uh, going to be released on the 14th of March. So, Saturday. So, a couple more weeks for these drop and the Sapphire Boys. But, uh, again, just want to do something real quick for y'all. Quick little video blog on them. There's some sharp shoes. They're only going to both retail for about 105 bucks, So not too bad on the price point for a decent shoe. Uh, and again, some of you guys might be able to find these uh, online. I know a couple online sites have been releasing them early. Uh, or actually getting pre-order sales in out to people a couple days before. But uh, luckily we got hooked up just to do this uh, video review. As far as Detroit area cats, if y'all are in the D, uh, be looking exclusively, I think, for your especially for the blue sapphire is going to be limited uh, probably Mr. Allen's your puffers uh, I believe also burn rubber is definitely going to be getting a pair of these as well so call around at those local shops to see if you're on the area but again I'll show y'all real quick bang size 11 retro one blue sapphire no sample sizes here baby all my size size 11 bang and we go ahead again to the lows boom Velcro, Premier Low, Jetstream Blue Sapphire. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video blog. Hope it wasn't too long. Uh, catch y'all on the next one. So, please stay tuned. Appreciate all the love. Soul Survivor, Detroit.blogspot.com. Keep it locked, y'all. Peace.